Alright guys, a lot of people have been asking me to review my toolbox, like what I got in it and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into it. Got this toolbox from an old guy in Florida. I live in Florida and um, always took care of it, you know, that kind of thing like that. Always kept the protective wrapper on everything and you can see here that he even has the this factory sticker still on there which is pretty cool I'm gonna start with the first drawer being the top right and then I'll go into the middle top middle big drawer this is really cool it came with it <clears throat> the original user manual for I guess an air ratchet that he bought with the toolbox with the toolbox one is in a little bit better condition it just kind of goes over what to clean it with and how to remove the drawers and stuff like that but it's got the old school font like that and some stickers I had it this is by the way this is my second take of this video because the last video I did there's a certain thing that I showed in the video but I was not able to have that in the video because of a certain reason I think it's illegal actually you'll see what I'm talking about later when I show you that box up there and um, this cool warranty free service card I guess they'd punch it out or something maybe or something so that's that let's keep my cigar cutters in here new process tag for a 273 Ford transfer case and um, this is the key that this big box in the bottom has brass really cool and I know y'all might ask what this one's for so this box up here did not come with a key so I had to buy a key kit and rekey it and I added this vintage 90s scanner keychain dongle to it just to kind of for the immersion you know to go with it so that's it for this drawer <clears throat> um, this is just my home toolbox, so I don't really have every single socket. Do I have a 12 point in 5.5 millimeter? No. Do I care? No. I really like these stand up socket uh, organizers. Organizers, they seem to do a great job, and they don't break. I've had them in toolbox in little bags and carried around the jobs and stuff like that. They've never really broke off the pegs, although I am careful with them. Got all my adapters over here in the bottom corner, separated off by this partition with these sockets. Torx. This is kind of a neat ratchet. A lot of people don't even know that it exists. It's a 3 8 regular, but if you look closely, you can see that it has no screws. This is called a FOD ratchet. So if you work in a place where they can't have screws, like around aircraft. Um, nice little old round head design although it is cool and the teeth counts really nice it often switches easily on me if I'm in a tight spot and I don't know it this is it happens all the time with this ratchet it's kind of annoying but I still keep it around I don't always wanted a little 3 8 stubby like snap-on has but I haven't bought one yet so I uh, made one out of a Harbor Freight one it's got some random craftsmen USA made ones though before they turned liberal um, I always have Milwaukee. This one's never let me down. Um, once you're invested in a battery system, though, you kind of got to keep with it. Unless you want to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on different systems. I've had this for like five years. Still works great. Just picked up this early this year. Maybe last year for, oh yeah, I think it was for my birthday in January. A little whiz wheel works just as good as a air impact or air sorry air gun uh, this recently took a crap on me I have abused this thing though I have put so much more torque on it than you're supposed to like downward pressure I have done I've hooked the mother's power ball up to this and polished my wheels so many times 
so much stress, like axial, and I don't know what I, I guess you call it that, on this head. And it's just now getting messed up inside, but it still works. Sometimes it cuts out and it makes a really bad noise. Uh, some bootleg Milwaukee batteries. This is my old tape measure that I give to people when they ask if I have a tape measure. That's a joke, kind of. And uh, I guess I'll go to the cider right here. Uh, air hammer, all my impact stuff. Two and nine sixteenths axle nut socket for a Dana 70. Cummins adapter, uh, uh, sorry, uh, turnover tool. Stick it in the engine uh, adapter plate. My friend forgot that it was in there and started up the truck when they were setting valve lash. Still works though. Um, I have pretty much every job I have. I take these and I save them. You never know when you need them. Working on a lawnmower, gotta pull the carburetor off, stick that, stick one of these in there, or I don't know, whatever. They come in handy though. Heat gun, piston ring compressor from ARP. This is specific, obviously you can't adjust them. If you're doing one engine a lot, these are great. I hate the band ones, the cheap. I've had them unravel on me before, and as long as you know your bore diameter, this is for 5.9 Cummins. Works great. Uh, Matco left hand bit and extractor set. I just got some gasket paper in there. I don't really know what to put in there yet. It's nice having more space than you need, though. I had an old Craftsman, and I was just getting tired of working out of it. Phillips over here. Flathead. Picks. As many picks as you could ever want. Inspection mirror. Does anybody remember these? X-Mod. Anybody have any X-Mods? These are the little kit that you bought with at Radio Shack for your little uh, RC cars. <clears throat> they don't make them anymore, though. They were sure fun. Uh, wrenches. It's getting hard to pull out on the... Um, like, kind of right here. Because whenever I first got this box, I used this... I don't know what it was. It was... I was dumb. I think I used this gel spray and stay no drip formula WD-40 in this. And it's gummed up. It started to gum up. You can see it on some of them. Where it's... Yeah, see that right there? It's getting sticky. It's like grease to the touch. Well, it's stickier than grease. And it's causing these drawers to mess up. Before, when I got this box... If it was full like it is now, I could just, I kind of rolled this one up previously, but you could literally press it like that and it would go all the way in and go really slow like this and just close like that. It was beautiful because it's so well worn, but they took care of it. I mean, I mean, look at the paint on this. It's not even chipped like here in the, I mean, it just barely. But, um, yeah, wrench drawer. Got a couple old ones. Chrome's all worn off on. Allen keys. Just use this as a kind of a plier rack made out of a sh some shelving. Cool. It, it does what it's supposed to do. I mean, it could be better. Why is this mold grow here? Don't. You don't know Carlisle at Napa. These are the same thing as a Snap-on. I don't want to hear no crap about. No, it ain't. I'll just pay seventy dollars for it and know that it's better. Is it not. I've owned both of them. These are the same thing, and they're t they got them on sale for twenty dollars when I got these. It was like a the monthly deal. The same as Snap-on. These are my favorite wire strippers ever. 
Yep, that's my plier. Old, old school uh, spring-loaded snap ring pliers, complete with custom tips. You gotta do what you gotta do. My hammer collection. Sorry, y'all, but <laughs> yeah, I need to get some better hammers. Surface prep, whiz wheel stuff, writing utensils, punches. Old school logo fuel pressure test kit. Really nice box. Quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive torque wrenches, and a extension tool for a rotary tool. Remote, I guess you could call it remote. Extra blades, timing tool, timing gear puller, power steering puller under here. This is cool. This is just a Harbor Freight kind of Pelican knockoff. Um, dial indicator, and I think this is a deck. I forget what they call this. We put this on the top of an engine and stick a dial indicator there. That way you can check uh, piston protrusion and stuff out of the. And I got a socket set for Bosch injection pumps. My buddy got me this Makita specifically because. Now I have a, a non-red tool in my box now because of him. But he got it for me for Christmas. Um, bunch of drill bits, pocket reference for, you know, whoever needs to know the barometric pressure on September 27th, 1982. It's probably in here. Punches. Temperature gun, C clamps, clutch alignment tool, sadly one missing, lady's foot, <laughs> electrical drawer, we um, got a bunch of um, odd amperage size fuses right here in this bag because I don't. Jumpers, it's an amperage tester in a circuit with a using a light bulb. <clears throat> I don't have a fluke meter because I'm not like a NASA scientist and I don't care. So, oh, if you just heard that boom, that's a AC-130 shooting. It's so annoying. <clears throat> um, 47RE intermediate shaft used as a tool for sticking in your overdrive housing of that transmission right there. Overdrive housing is the big bag thing. There's a bunch of clutches in here, your overdrive clutches, and they all have teeth on them. And you stick that baby in there after you've done assembling so that when you're transporting it, none of the splines become uh, misaligned. So, And if you don't do that, and they come out of sync, you'll have to tear the entire overdrive housing back down, stick this back in it, and align it before you can install it. Shrags. And this is the drawer that nobody talks about. Everybody has this drawer. Uh, need a seal for transmissions, you know, need a weird socket or an air regulator, um, you know, just, yeah. All right, and that's pretty much it about this toolbox. Um, moving on, move on to this one. <clears throat> oh, if you guys are wondering if it's worth it for the Harbor Freight Pelican case, yeah, but these are so much nicer. Got this from a Ferrari and Harley and Porsche technician, really old guy. But it had a lot of cool stickers on it. And the thing that I was, the illegal thing I was going to show you, I got to make sure it's covered up with my finger right now. John Brock owned this toolbox. His social security number is under my finger right now. 
I don't know why he riveted to it. this box. Does anybody know why? Like, who would do that? It has the dashes and everything on it. Correct spacing. He evidently was from Alabama. And he had something to do with aviation. But the stickers he put on here are really cool. This one's reflective chrome kind of and so is this one but it's I like it better because it's actually embossed and it's got some on the top too Mac snap on high performance and then another Mac and over here we got a um, <clears throat> Monroe old school Monroe sticker. I don't have this one filled up really. Just random stuff. That's pretty much it for my toolbox. <clears throat> Let me know. Thanks.